Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of order of operations. This is standard 6.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 6 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we need to simplify this expression here, 4 squared minus 6 parentheses 7 minus 10. We've got quite a bit working here. Let's open up our graph draw feature, increase the transparency so we can see what's going on behind it. And before we get started, let's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So that's how I remember PEMDAS. So the first thing that we always look at is the parentheses. We do have some parentheses in here. Second, we always look at exponent. We actually do have an exponent. We didn't really get into exponents in fifth grade, but in sixth grade we do. Now the third layer is actually multiply and divide together. They are inverse operations. They are equal. So if you happen to be going left to right, you see division first. You can actually do that before multiplication. Same thing with this addition and subtraction, that's our fourth layer. If you see subtraction first going left to right, you do it before the addition. They are inverse operations. They are equal. So what we're going to do here is we're going to write this a little bit bigger over here, and we're going to slowly break this down only one at a time. 7 minus 10. Okay, so what's the first thing we look at? Parentheses. I do see a parentheses right there. It's that 7 minus 10. Okay, so let's take care of that first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it underneath, and I'll actually change the color so you can see the change from one layer to the next. So I'm going to keep my 4 squared minus 6. You might be tempted to kind of do that 4 squared already, but we need to keep that separate. That first thing we do is going to be this 7 minus 10. So what is 7 minus 10? Well, that's going to be negative 3. So now what we have done is we have collapsed the parentheses. So that's our first step. Now, what we have here is actually 6, negative 6 times negative 3. Whenever you have a, a number next to a parentheses and there's no operation shown, it's actually just a different way of showing multiplication. So I'm going to put a little tiny multiplication right there. So what do we have left? We've got a exponent, we've got a subtract 6, and then we've got a times negative 3. That's the tricky part. Well, obviously that exponent's going to come next. So I'm going to put my green back on. 4 squared is not 4 times 2. It is 4 times itself 2 times. So 4 times 4. So 4 times 4 makes 16. So that's going to be kind of a trick. If you did 4 times 2 is 8, your answer is going to be incorrect. But now we're going to do minus 6. And then we're going to bring that times negative 3. So what do we have left? We now have two different operations left. We've got a subtraction, and we have that negative, and then we've got that negative 6 times negative 3. So what we need to do here is we need to take care of that multiplication right there. So 6 times 3 is 18. Okay? But when you've got negative 6 times negative 3, the two negatives actually make a positive. So watch what I get here. I've got my 16. The negative and a negative actually make a positive. That's the interesting part. So let's make that green. The two negatives actually cancel each other out. And look at that. All that minus turns back into a positive. So I'm stuck with an addition that I can finally do next. 16 plus 18. I'm going to need to regroup there, so let's go ahead and do that. Look at that. So there's my positive 34. So always make sure we do one step at a time. We actually did all four levels. My answer here is going to be C.